All right, guys, welcome to Wayne's World Garage. Today, we're gonna to take the 1956 Power Wagon down to the Anne Arundel County Fair and work with the guys to get the, uh, the Frick sawmill going. Again, just cut some slabs there so we can give them away as little souvenirs. So the Frick sawmill has this beautiful General Motors 471 two-stroke diesel engine in it, which we got running last week. And that was kind of awesome. Um, you haven't seen the Power Wagon a little bit. It's been running great try and drive it at least every week and uh, we'll take it for a spin today and bring it down to the fair it's only five miles away at most two or three miles away but just a quick go over it's a 1956 pretty much stock it's got a flathead 230 cubic inch six cylinder engine smooth as silk NP 200 uh, transfer case um, it's got 583 gears so it doesn't really go real fast so I normally don't drive on roads they have to go very fast on so uh, there you go. We pretty much rebuilt everything on this truck. Transmission, transfer case, engine, all that good stuff. It's running like a champ. Last year I had a little bit of body work done on it um, just because I've had it for 10 years. We're going to load it up and take it down to the fair today and uh, we're going to cut some wood. Heading down to the Anne Arundel County Fairgrounds to get their Frick sawmill going and cut a little bit of wood with the guys. So the Detroit diesel engine, like a lot of old engines, has oil bath air filters. It's got two of them. And uh, Pete gave them to me last week and said, hey, can you patch them up? They got some holes. The problem with filters like this is that water um, sinks to the bottom of oil. Oil floats on water, as you probably all know if you've ever been in a boat or that sank. Just kidding. So the problem with that, though, of course, is people aren't as good as they should be. They don't change the oil every month like they should, and the oil sits on the top, water gets in the bottom, and then it ends up rusting out the bottom of these things. So what I did is I um, brought it home, I patched up a couple of these little holes, um, we soldered a couple of these shut, I put some JB Weld on a couple of the small spots, and then inside uh, we use this paint called Gliptol paint. And it's the same paint I put on the inside of engines, transmissions, and transfer cases, gearboxes. It's designed so that the paint will prevent the oil from seeping out of cast iron surfaces. So it's kind of overkill for this, but it's a really thick paint. It's an enamel based paint and this thing guaranteed won't leak. And a little bit of water sits in the bottom of it. It won't be a problem. So what happens is a little pie pin goes in the top here. Okay. The oil comes up to here, right here. And this is sunk in. I don't know if you can see that. It's sunk in a little bit. So the air is going to suck out of here. Clean oil, clean air goes through the oil bath and then it goes back into your engine. They're extraordinarily effective, but when you run them in very humid environments like we have down here, you end up having problems because the oil turns to, um, to a milkshake. It looks like you know a whitish milkshake because it's got so much oil and moisture in it. But you gotta change it often. So anyway, that's a story. I'm sticking with it. Let's put them in and try it out and see how she works today. Okay, well here we are. We've got these two oil filters installed. This one doesn't fit quite right. The Royal Bath filters, this one here, will work on a little bit. It needs a little bit of work, but at least they're not leaking. And when I get home, I will uh, make them better, the one better. So what happened here is when I soldered these guys together and pretty much rebuilt the one, 
They weren't perfectly round, and the little pie pan for the second one didn't fit properly. So um, there was a big gap when we went to snap this thing into the air cleaner. Anyway, I took them home. We'll figure it out. We'll make them a little bit better, and uh, that's what we're doing. I don't know if this battery works. This battery could be broken or not work. So go ahead and start it. We normally make shingles on the shingle mill, but since we can't use that this year, we're taking the cedar and cutting it into quarter inch thick pieces, and then we'll chop them down. After that, we'll brand them with the year 2021 and the notes Anne Arundel County Fair on it. It looks pretty good when it's done. So thankfully, Dan was smart enough to realize that we had oil leaking out the oil filter. Um, these filters, if you don't crank them down right and the gasket's not good, they could leak up top. So we shut her down, tightened it down, and I got a new gasket, and uh, we'll stop the leak.
So that wraps it up for today. I'll be posting more videos of us running the Frick sawmill with a 4V71. Please subscribe to this, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.